an amazing man, Eli Wilhite, and obviously, you know, Veronica Larea. Hi, everybody. We had honor and privilege of having Eli attend our two-hour NLP training here at KW Covina. And I know, Eli, you're a very big proponent on NLP. You've been studying it, worked closely with Tony Robbins. And just share with us, what, how was today for you? What did you like? Today was amazing. As I've done over 3,000 trainings for Tony Robbins and I've attended a lot of his events and I'm the one that actually critiques the new speakers. And so whenever I go to events, there's often people speaking before me or after me and I'm critiquing them. I got to really break down what Kaya and Veronica were doing today, the level of connection and care and skills. It wasn't just a sales pitch. It wasn't a pump up, but people had a visceral emotional response that I think will carry far beyond what they gave today. There was so much value in there that I think that it really last with their clients. So I can't recommend it highly enough to have these folks into your house. Awesome. And can I ask you another question, Eli? Sure. What does NLP mean to you? What has it done for you in your life? And why are you so hungry to master? You know, it's as you divide it today, it's the science, the study of excellence. And as we say, and Tony Robbins said many times, success leaves clues. So when you see somebody that's a top agent or somebody struggling, it's not an accident. And so there are pictures in their mind. There are things that they're doing. If you want to make a great cake, there's a recipe. There's certain ingredients and amounts. And so really looking at the science of communication, that the quality of our lives is the quality of our communication with our clients, with our friends, with our families, but also the quality of communication with ourselves, our thoughts, our emotions, our patterns, how we move, how we breathe, what we focus on, what we make things mean. And when I watch speakers, where I watch communicators who are very, very good or okay or bad, they're often doing things. A lot of real estate agents, for example, will go to Mike Ferry and it's great information. It's a script, but even working for Tony, I, when I first got the job, there was about a dozen of us and we all had the same script, same words, same outcome, same tools, but my results were usually double what everybody else's was. So it's the refined skills and taking the time to really refine your skills is exactly what NLP provides. It's a refinement of the communication to really produce excellence in your business and in your life the time today to really kind of slow things down and get a refined skill and then relate NLP. NLP definitely has a therapeutic aspect, but it also has an influence aspect. And if I had a twist for my we're able to break this down, the influence aspect, how it pertains to selling real estate, the conventional strategy, how you need to connect with certain clients, use a different strategy to influence them, to get a result that's actually, them. but people have their own process. And so using the same process for everybody won't work. So how do you actually read the information that's for you? You have sensory acuity, this acute sensitivity where you're able to dial in their model of the world to actually help them be about so good for them. And also some of the language pad is in your framing and also some vetted commands to help people and, and how you're leading people a certain way. And then, you know, just your whole process. Pacing and leading, that's... Now, we'll tell you what, Eli, we are excited to share the stage with you. So you're going to be changing lives with us and alongside us. So we're super excited, buddy.